Hey gang. Well, at least this time I got something that was somewhat of an extreme weapon for the uh, for the results video. <laughs> and I'm hanging down here at the laundromat once again because it's the only place I could find that uh, that actually has steel chairs. But these are the kinds you sit on, not bash over the head other people when they are taking too dang long to get the, their laundry done. But let's get things. I, I did try to put the extreme rules uh, piece of paper on the on the chair, but uh, uh, I, I tried sitting it over there on those tables, but uh, it didn't come in that well. And I tried sitting in here and didn't come in well. So I'm like, you know what? All I need is a steel chair. It's good enough. All right, so let's get to those results, and we'll find out who has to do the pickle slushy punishment. Uh, in a match that I had no idea was happening until I found out from Danny Nightmare. Uh, Pre-show match, Andre Almos uh, defeated Sin Cara. And in the second pre-show match, Sanity defeated the New Day in the tables match. That was kind of a shock. So Sanity finally gets a win of the WWE on the main show, I should say. For the Raw Tag Team titles, the B Team defeated the Deleter of Worlds, which was pretty shocking, but yeah. Uh, Finn Balor defeated Baron Corbin. That's a match that should have been on the uh, pre-show, and they should have put the tables match on the Extreme Rules big show, but oh well. Uh, Carmella keeps the SmackDown Women's title from Asuka, thanks again to James Ellsworth, who, from what I read about the match, wasn't even very long, and James Ellsworth was not even up there very long as it was. Shinsuke Nakamura defeats Jeff Hardy in less than 10 seconds, to become the new U.S. champion. And thanks to Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy may never have children again. Or should I say both to Shins thanks to Shinsuke Nakamura and Randy Orton both. I don't know. Kevin Owens defeats Braun Strowman in, st in the steel cage match, which was pretty shocking. But apparently uh, Braun Strowman threw Kevin Owens off the top of the cage and they counted that as a win. Go figure. Uh, the Bludgeon Brothers keeps the SmackDown Tag Team titles from Kane and Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan fought it out throughout most of the match. Kane came down, but still did no good. Bludgeon Brothers keep the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Bobby Lashley defeats Roman Reigns in the beach ball match. Danny Nightmare, I'm telling you, man, trademark that. <laughs> trademark that before WWE does, and you might earn a few nickels. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but yeah. Beach ball match. We we need to to make that. Um, we need we need to uh, we need to make that a, a, a saying or uh, or stipul or a stipulation match for a match that we all know is going to be boring as watching paint dry. Um, Alexa Bliss defeats Nia Jax to keep the Raw Women's Title in the Extreme Rules match, even though Ronda Rousey tried to help but apparently did no good. AJ Styles keeps the, the WWE title from Rusev. And Dolph Ziggler keeps the Intercontinental title from Seth Rollins in overtime of the 30-minute Iron Man match. Not much extreme stuff happening at this pay-per-view, uh, honestly. Um, a couple of really short matches. Uh, I, I guess they only did that because the Iron Man match was going to be so long. But still... In all honesty, not that great of a show. Uh, seemed like a few highlights happened. They had Kurt Angle come out saying that uh, um, that uh, that Brock Lesnar is going to have to do something about the Universal Championship. Um, so I guess we'll find out later tonight on Raw what happens, which honestly I really don't care at this point. But if they are going to do a triple threat between Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, and Brock Lesnar for the Universal title... I say throw in there Braun Strowman have a real battle of the bowls and just let him just slug it out, make it an elimination match. Make it make it kind of interesting, you know? Um, um, Carmella, Asuka, SmackDown Women's title match. Just be done with it. It's over, you know? They're, they're, maybe, maybe they can draft Asuka back to Raw. Maybe she can take the women's title from, from Alexa Bliss. I don't know. Uh, overall, from what I've read, I didn't miss much. Um, so, yeah. 
I mean, I kind of miss the old extreme rules where every match has had a stipulation, but then after a while, it's like every year, every ma every match had the same stipulation to it. Um, so that kind of sucked. Uh, so, so for those of you who are sitting on pins and needles or on the edge of your seat wondering who's going to have to drink the pickle slushy, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, look, I'll, I'll just put it to you this way. I feel bad that I won. Because I feel like that this was a pay-per-view that just... That it, it had a few surprises. But overall, nothing great. So, Danny... I'll 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 drink the pickle slushy too. Because this is again another pay-per-view I feel bad about that was not really getting all hyped about, getting all excited about. Hopefully SummerSlam is gonna be worth uh going for and everything like that. So I will try the pickle slushy as well. Because you know what? I'm I wanna help out Danny Nightmare, I wanna help him get more subscribers, and I hope you guys go check out his channel and I'll have lots and lots of wrestling channels down below. Some that I normally put in, no longer available. There are a few new ones I'm going to put down there, and I hope you guys will go check out. And uh, this weekend, some, uh, something I don't do very often, but I'm going to try to do a Impact Wrestling Slammiversary picks video. So I hope you guys will check that one out. And again, please go check out the uh, channels I'll put in the description below. And uh, if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this year's Extreme Rules. Was it worse than last year's? Personally, I would say... Nah. I mean, it, I mean it, it, was, it was okay for what it was. There were a few improvements from last year, but I think ultimately overall it was just... Nah, so... Uh, they could have used a few, a uh, few more stipulation matches, at least some better ones, and and not too many beach ball matches. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna get on out of here, gang. Get this bad boy uploaded, and um, so I'll see you guys this weekend for my slam anniversary picks because it looks like a pretty interesting card. So hope you guys tune in for that one. So until then, and until we see each other again. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And as always, stay strong and rock on. Ow!